Howdy, Jason. Well, fellas, what do you think, huh? I haven't worn this hat in 20 years. Which reminds me of a joke I haven't told in 20 years. Well, go ahead and tell it. I will, and he did. A fella calls up, and a fella in a little tailor shop answers the phone. He says, hello. Voice on the other end says, hello, boy, how are you? But there's a beagle that's in full cry. It's a hunting season, you know. Oh, so not you fall fall, but it's dead and pick you up in about a half hour. Voice on the other end says, Oi, have you got the wrong number? <laughs> you know, I like that myself. There's a screw ball on the loose in this fair city. Ah, but he's a mighty crafty guy. He kisses women in the park, then sneaks away into the dark. I've been a busy little bee, haven't I? Fashion experts say the dresses should be shorter. Save material, let skirts be high. If you're wondering who's the brain that started the short skirt campaign, been a busy little bee, haven't I? Why, to me, there's nothing new, I'm always there. Just like bitches shampoo, I'm always in your hair. At a restaurant over in Jersey City, some guy served me a piece of rotten pie. Now in the kitchen, take a look. Some mad bee to stab the cook. I've been a busy little bee, haven't I? You're sound asleep at 4 a.m. some morning. The phone bell rings and some guy says, guess who? Why, only a low conniving rat would do a dirty trick like that. I've been a busy little rodent. Say, you take your clothes and you send them out to the laundry. What do they do? They tear your shirts and start your underwear. Now, if you're wondering who's the jerk that does all that dirty work, ain't I obnoxious? <laughs> Why, there's nothing. I don't know. I'm never wrong. I'm a whack. What a whack. I'm the guy who wrote this song. Someone stealing Betty Grable's sweater. Dottie Lamore's the wrongs I'm missing to. And some low-down, awful brute stole Esther Williams' new bathing suit. Well, I like to swim myself once in a while. I've been a busy little bee. Have a Been a busy little bee, haven't I? Haven't I? Been a busy little bee. Now, wait a minute. Shh. I must explain the reason the band is all a little confused tonight and unhappy because the drummer in the band, Frankie Garisto, is leaving. This is his last show. He's joining the army. And Frankie, we want to say that we, it's been wonderful having you with us. God bless you. And, and have a. If you need anything, you know. The fellas are. Fellas, I really feel bad about him going and everything. And we're taking pictures this afternoon and everything. You know, funny thing about taking pictures, wherever you go nowadays, you got fellas with cameras. They got these Polaroid cameras, you get a picture in one minute and you go into cafes, they always have the girls there taking snapshots. Of course, in our cafe, we can't afford girl snapshot takers, so we have a fella who is there taking pictures. And if any of you folks are interested in having your picture done, I'll send a man over to your table. Hey, miss, do you want a picture take? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get Johnny Granary's dialect? <laughs> hey, mister, you want a picture taken? I don't want to know a picture. But I think you go around to the customers. I got to some friends from San Francisco there. I'm a grad. You take a picture, maybe. They like I have a picture You taken. don't mind, huh? I don't mind. There's a Walter Winchell's wife over there. We're not Walter Winchell. Georgie Walter. I'm all right. Oh. <laughs> maybe she likes to have... Well, I'll... Oh, I'll try. Try. Yeah, yeah. Enjoying yourself. I all want right. to run outside and drink a hot cup of nothing. I'll be back later. Okay.
gentlemen, this is, this is Freddie Blair and Dottie Dean. have also been with us a real long time, but he's not going in the Army. He was turned down during the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> but they're real happy tonight, too, because they, after being in show business a long time, they finally saved all their money and bought a nice new home that they're moving into tomorrow. Over in, where's that? Hillsdale, New Hillsdale, Jersey. Hillsdale, New Jersey. It was built for you by... Tandy and Allen. We got plugs in for That's everybody. See you later. Door. Door. For that? What? An electric door that goes up by pushing a button. You does, huh? Well, I'll be inside the door. Keep looking. I'll be over there. First meal. First meal. Huh? First meal. Forget it. Forget it. Guy cooks like crazy. He got an Italian dish, spaghetti and matzo balls. The greatest thing you ever ate in your life. I'm right here. And now we have... Oh, Hold up. It's all off. It's all off. What's all off? The hair on that man's head. Oh, come on. That's a good sure fire start. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, crazy. Wait a minute. What are you doing? Hey, I got that egg. You're going to stop won't. it. You won't, huh? Well, lucky it was hard-boiled. Take the shells off and eat it later. Yeah? Crazy about eggshells. Come on, you. <laughs> They're crazy, period. What are you all doing? right? Yeah, I'm dandy. And I'm glad I'm crazy. What are you doing with Which the reminds egg? me, I got another egg in my pocket. Another? Another egg? Yeah. yeah. Reminds me of a story of two eggs yeah. when I was talking. One egg says the other egg. He says, say, I hear you were in a little hot water last night. And the other egg says? The other egg says, yes, I got home, I was a little boiled. Uh-huh. Wife put me on a pan. Uh-huh. Should have seen the scramble. Yes, sir. Then this guy, Al <laughs> Buman. Come on, you silly man. What are you doing? Now, what's all this business? Come on, now tell Dad. Calm, Calm down. down. There's a reason when you get all excited this way. Leave us settle down and I'll tell you. All right, tell me. I heard through the grapevine. Yes? That this joint... <laughs> this silver swan is closing for all orations. That's right. About two or three more weeks, we're going to close up for a while. Well, I thought I'd go on a little PA tour. PA, personal appearance. No pickled anchovies. <laughs> Caught personal appearance. Well, what are you going to do? Well, vaudeville and the Charleston's all coming back, you know. That's right. They're bringing all the old stuff back. Don't be self-conscious about it. <laughs> got a brand new act. Do it all with my nose. Well, you got a point there. There ain't no button hook on your kisser. What kind of an act you can do? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to call the act... Boing! <laughs> Newton and his train nose. Hey, that's news. No nose. What kind of an act you can do with your nose? What do you mean, what kind of an act I'm going to do with my nose? You know what the grand finale is? No, I don't even know what the act is. Well, I'm getting to the finale. I'm skipping the lousy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. That's your already done bid, yeah. That's right. Yeah, for the finale. For the finale, yeah. I turn into a television set. And that ain't easy because I'm a radio. <laughs> You're crazy. Wait a minute. If you do an act with your nose, where did your nose come in with the television? I don't understand it. The nose is the knob. You mean just by turning the, the knob, you get the different station? That's right. Uh-huh. Let's give this a whirl. Let's All right. All right. Come on. Hey, your nose is nice and cold. You should have a good, healthy television. Wait till my battery warms up. Hey. This Short wave. Ah! <laughs> Come on, what are the ears for? Well, that's the volume. You see, you turn them one way, that's right, and it gets very loud, then you turn them very soft. Then it gets very loud, and it works. I guess make it difficult. Come here, let's get that picture. All let's right. get the picture. All, All right. right. Okay, all right. come on, let's get that picture. Let's straighten out that picture. Okay, now let's get it this way. Oh, that's it. Now we got the picture right in focus. All, right. all set. Now try one of the network stations up there around the adenoids. Thank you, thank you, and good evening, Mrs. Fred Allen. As the big toe said to the little toe, don't look now, but I think we're being followed by a heel. <laughs> hey, that's good. Thank All right, you. now let's try a little news. A little news. Got a nose for news. Good evening. This is T.V. Kaltenborn. You understand what's in the political adjustment? And our mode of living today during the 7th fifth there, as we know that will end today. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Little music there. Fighting with the moon. Wow. My favorite. <laughs> yeah, my favorite singer, Morton Downey. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Elsie the Cow. All right, now what do right, you want? So, now let's see if we can try a little something else. A little here. Maybe a little, a little uh, soap opera. In a here. little play. Yeah. Good afternoon. Another episode of Life Boy can be beautiful. Oh. <laughs> when last, last we left them. When last we left them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you haven't got it adjusted right. <laughs> <laughs> when last we left them, our hero was suffering from a severe case of amnesia. Yes? Portia had a severe case of hooch. <laughs> As our episode starts, we hear... Yes, yes. We hear... What do we hear? What do we hear? Da -ba -ba -boom. <laughs> Stay here, please. Now, don't go away. Now, you're supposed to be a television, you know. Let's get back to the music. All right, come on. What happened with the television? 
I broke my antenna. All right, come on, let's just stand here. Let's get something real musical now. To spend one hour with you. Oh, boy, my friend. And around I know that. Now that he's kind of put you in the mood for a little music, we have a lovely young lady who is paying her second visit to the Silver Swan in just a very short time because she made such a big hit with our customers. We know you're going to enjoy her. Incidentally, she made her television debut with us, visiting from Washington, D.C., Jody Miller. Every night here, we're having a good time, and we're happy to have you with us. Well, I'm happy to be here. Well, that's good. matter of fact, I'm always happy. You're always happy? Yes. As a matter of fact, the other day... Yes? As old Mr. Grouch sat on his couch and told me that the end of the world was near, my happy heart rose with a start. Hollering, let's get out of here. I want to stay with you happy people. about the ballet, and we have a wonderful, wonderful thrill for you. A little later in the show, I said that before, because that's where I heard it, but we have some, well, I'm not going to tell you about it. First, I want you to hear a few words from your local Dumont dealer. Play authority with us tonight. You know, they have the Sadler Wells Ballet, sure. and everybody's crazy about it. Mm -hmm. This fella is probably one of the greatest authorities on ballet in the whole world. The great Nijinsky, the famous ballet dancer, once said of this man... What? But I want to tell you... Hmm? At this well, wait till I bring him out here. I want you to meet him now. Get ready because he's a very fine <coughs> English gentleman. All right. Lord Newton Chiselworth. Oh, Oh, there he is. Oh, hello. Hello. I want you to say hello to Don Russell. Hi, oh, hey, Don. Glad no, 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 no. That's this Mr. Amsterdam. I'm Mr. Russell. Hey, I love that yucca fuck. Ah, ah, ah. No, no. This is no, Mr. Amsterdam. I see you just had your hair cut in a pet shop. Looks very nice, sir. Good, really. Yeah, is there anything we can do for you, sir? How about uh, a cigarette or cigarette? something? Make uh, happy. No, thank you. Just have my shoe shine. Oh, no. no. How about uh, anything uh, we can do to make cigar? you happy? The two of no, us? No, thanks. Don't drink. <laughs> yes, there is something you can do for me, old boy. What is it? Scrap. Man, just get out. I guess we'll have to go. Thank you. Bye. Here's the gym. Good evening. Oh. Silly Billy me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Well, what are you going to do? That's your business. <laughs> Looking for my spot here. <clears throat> now then, fellow lovers of the dance. Or as my good friend Winston Churchill once said, I know this is all birds of living during this present phase of a vow. As you know, then we all will. Va, 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 boo. Oh, yes, my friends, it's nothing like culture, culture. Now back to this tripe. <laughs> my subject, my subject for tonight is the history and technique of the ballet, or how to pickle a Brussels sprout during the molding season. I believe it was the Greek Philips, either. I believe it was the Greek Philips, I think it was some chap by the name of Socrates, who once says, Itchititis, Occuporus, Spirus Curus, Amonus, Streptococci. <laughs> He's obviously talking about his mother-in-law. <laughs> but that is neither hither nor yon. No yarns of a wife. There's a play on words there that'll fracture you. <laughs> now, dancing is not new. People have been dancing from way back, especially rumba dancers. I was a dancer myself, Russian ballet. And I was a rascal with a ballerina. <laughs> they called me the Gremlin of the Kremlin. But we're wandering away from our subject, aren't we? Glad? <laughs> now then, what is the ballet? Hmm? According to Professor Meyer Sprinkelwasser, it's the Nick and Ballet Dancer Yard. In like Ballet Dancer, Ballet Dancer, Prince of Schwanson. And a rose for you. <laughs> now then, in order to illustrate my lecture, I have brought with me a group formerly with Sadler's Wells, now known as Sadler's Blisters. For you, they do Tchaikovsky's lovely ballet suite, Dance of the Marshmallow Indian Nuts, or Afternoon of a Pastrami on a Seated Row. But now I see the concert is about to start. The house lights are beginning to dim. These lights don't seem to give a dim. <laughs> and the conductor, the conductor is now mounting the podium. The assistant conductor is now mounting the podium. He made it stout fellow. First one is too stout. Music maestro. We find ourselves in the woods. A gentle breeze is blowing. Birds are flying, flying through the air. They went that way. <laughs> See, in Birdland, we'll live. <laughs> Listen. We hear the voice of Mother Nature. Thank you, Lydia Pinkle. <laughs> Suddenly, the queen of the wood nymphs makes her entrance. This, my friends, is a very difficult step to gain on a blue jay corn plaster. <laughs> However, she begins her dance of happiness. She's expressing something very emotional. She wants to go to a party in full taffy. Now this, my friends, isn't much of a step, but it gives her a chance to rest her feet. Hark! It is the sound of the beautiful pipes of Pan. <laughs> Sounds like Pan needs new pipes. <laughs> now your father's pulling for. <laughs> that boy's got a nice delivery. <laughs> and now the queen of the wood nymphs is very happy, for she knows her lover approaches. And here he comes now, the handsome fairy prince. <laughs> He's been fishing, and he tells her about the big barracuda he just caught. Ah, but she keeps running away. She can still smell that confounded fish. But now, my friends, a storm approaches. Their hearts are filled with terror, but they know the wicked demon of the forest. 
And the best I can do is the hundred dollars in the drugstore. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I got carried away. And now, the wicked demon of the forest is near, and here he comes now. <laughs> At this point, friends, it's rather difficult to explain what they're doing because it seems they don't quite know themselves. <laughs> and now it's quite obvious what they're doing. They're pleading for the wood nymph love and she doesn't know which one to choose. Why has the queen turned against the fairy prince? What does the wicked demon have that the fairy prince does not have? I'll tell you. He has two tickets to the World Series. The fairy prince is sad, so he dances. You can see he's a pretty sad dancer. But the wood nymph tells him not to feel badly because she has a sister whom she knows he'll be crazy about. And here comes her crazy sister now. And now the dance of the seven whales. Well, it looks like they'll all be deliriously happy ever after as they make a big family circle. I hope by now that you all understand the ballet, and if you'll excuse me, I'll join the family circle myself. This is Freddie Blair and Dottie Dean have also been with us a real long time, but he's not going in the army. He was turned down during the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> but they're real happy tonight, too, because they, after being in show business a long time, they finally saved all their money and bought a nice new home that they're moving into tomorrow. Over in, where's that? Hillsdale, New Hillsdale, Jersey. Hillsdale, New Jersey. It was built for you by... Tandy and Allen. We got plugs in for That's everybody. See you later. Who's the jerk that does all that dirty work? Ain't I obnoxious? <laughs> Why, there's nothing, I don't know, I'm never wrong. I'm a whack, what a whack, I'm the guy who wrote this song. Someone stealing Betty Grable's sweater. Dotty Lamore's the wrongs I'm missing too. And some low-down awful brute stole Esther Williams' new bathing suit. Well, I like to swim myself once in a while. 
I've been a busy little baby. Have a I haven't I been a busy little bee? That, wait a minute. Shh. I must explain the reason the band is all a little confused tonight and unhappy because the drummer in the band, Frankie Garisto, is leaving. This is his last show. He's joining the army. And Frankie, we want to say that we, it's been wonderful having you with us. God bless you. And, and have a. If you need anything, you know. <laughs> the fellas, are, the fellas are really feel bad about him going and everything. And we're taking pictures this afternoon and everything. You know, a funny thing about taking pictures, wherever you go nowadays, you got fellas with cameras. They got these Polaroid cameras. You get a picture in one minute and you go into cafes. They always have the girls there taking snapshots. Of course, in our cafe, we can't afford girl snapshot takers. So we have a fella who is there taking pictures. And if any of you folks are interested in having your picture done, I'll send a man over to your table. Hey, miss, do you want a picture taken? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you get Johnny Granary's dialect? <laughs> hey, mister, you want a picture taken? I don't want to know a picture. But I think you go around to the customers. I got to some friends from San Francisco there. I'm a grass. You take a picture, maybe. They like I have a picture you taken. You don't mind, huh? I don't mind. There's a Walter Winchell's wife over there. We're not Walter Winchell. Georgie Walter. I'm all right. Oh. <laughs> maybe she likes to have... Well, I'll... I'll oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Enjoying yourself. I want right. to run outside and drink a hot cup of nothing. I'll be back later. Okay. that's hat in 20 years. Which reminds me of a joke I haven't told in 20 years. Well, go ahead and tell it. I will, and he did. A fella calls up, and a fella in a little tailor shop answers the phone. He says, hello. Voice on the other end says, hello, boy, how are you? We're there, the Beagle's in full cry. It's the hunting season, you know. Old Sir Archibald Fulman is there to pick you up in about a half hour. Voice on the other end says, oi, have you got the wrong number? <laughs> I like that myself. There's a true ball on the loose in this fair city. Ah, but he's a mighty crafty guy. He kisses women in the park, then sneaks away into the dark. I've been a busy little bee, haven't I? Fashion experts say the dresses should be shorter. Save material, let skirts be high. If you're wondering who's the brain that started the short skirt campaign, been a busy little bee. Haven't I? Why, to me, there's nothing new. I'm always there. Just like bitches shampoo. I'm always in your hair. At a restaurant over in Jersey City. Some guy served me a piece of rotten pie. Now in the kitchen, take a look. Some mad bee to stab the cook. I've been a busy little bee, haven't I? You're sound asleep at 4 a.m. some morning. 
The phone bell rings and some guy says, guess who? Why, only a low conniving rat would do a dirty trick like that. I've been a busy little rodent. Say, you take your clothes and you send them out to the laundry. What do they do? They tear your shirts and start your underwear. Now, if you're wondering... What? An electric door that goes up by pushing a button. You does, huh? Well, I'll be inside the door. Keep looking. I'll be over there. First meal. First meal. Huh? First meal? Forget it. Forget it. Guy cooks like crazy. He got an Italian dish, spaghetti and matzo balls. The greatest thing you ever ate in your life. I'm trying to you. And now... Oh, we have... Hold up. It's all off. What's all off? The hair on that man's head. Oh, come on. That's a good show of fire stock. <laughs> Wait a minute. Guy crazy. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I forgot that egg. You're going to stop won't. it. You won't, huh? Well, lucky it was hard-boiled. Take the shells off and eat it later. Yeah? Crazy about eggshells. Come on, you're crazy, period. What are you all right? Yeah, I'm dandy. And I'm glad I'm crazy. What are you doing with Which reminds me, I got another egg in my pocket. Another? Another egg? Yeah. 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 Reminds me of a story of two eggs yeah. when I was talking. One egg says the other egg says, say, I hear you were in a little hot water last night. And the other egg says? The other egg says, yes, I got home. I was a little boiled. Uh-huh. Wife put me on a pan. Uh-huh. Should have seen the scramble. Yes, sir. Then this guy, yeah. Al Buman. <laughs> Come on, you silly man. What are you doing? Now, what's all this business? Come on, now tell Dad. Calm, Calm down. down. There's a reason when you get all excited this way. Leave us settle down and I'll tell you. All right, tell me. I heard through the grapevine... Yes? ...that this joint, <laughs> this silver swan, is closing for all orations. That's right. About two or three more weeks, we're going to close up for a while. Well, I thought I'd go on a little PA tour. PA? Personal appearance? No pickled anchovies. <laughs> Caught personal appearance. Well, what are you going to do? Well, vaudeville and the Charleston's all coming back, you know. That's right. They're bringing all the old stuff back. Don't be self-conscious about it. <laughs> got a brand new act. Do it all with my nose. Well, you got a point there. There ain't no button hook on your kisser. <laughs> what kind of an act you can do? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to call the act... <laughs> Newton and his trained nose. Hey, 